We're continuing to bring you uh, different feeds that we're receiving. One of these is from SpaceX. We just brought that one up on our stream right now. We're also getting multiple camera angles from Lab Padre. We want to thank Lab Padre for their permission to provide uh, the feeds from their cameras on our stream this afternoon. Lab Padre's uh, video feeds do have uh, the benefit in that they are uh, not as delayed. There's not as much of a delay in those camera feeds we're receiving as the one from SpaceX. So we may, in fact, see the uh, final vents, uh, final visual indications, static fire is imminent, as well as the static fire itself a few seconds uh, before on the Lab Padre feeds uh, than we see it on the SpaceX feed. Of course, SpaceX does have a prime camera position located within the fence of the orbital launch cycle in Texas. And the final countdown is underway. There is static fire. And it looks like the vehicle is uh, still standing there on the launch mount after this static fire attempt. Looks like uh, that was a Good test. We wait for SpaceX to confirm the uh, outcome of that test if all 33 engines lit as planned. And SpaceX has just confirmed this was a full duration static fire test. Good indication that the test firing went according to plan. There's an up close view of this uh, launch mount at Starbase. No vis visible signs of any obvious damage from this hot fire test.
Really nice drone views coming from SpaceX right now, showing the area around the orbital launch site with that giant tower standing next to the super heavy booster, as well as the array of tanks, fuel, and oxygen.